So this is the window we're gonna be reusing in the kitchen area. So we're actually not going to have a window on this wall. I don't believe there's no plan for that right now. Reason why is we're going to have a, a stove. Chris has already picked up that wood stove. We just got it uh, last week off of Marketplace. She's gonna refinish this uh, wood stove you can see down here. And we'll be putting that in pretty much center on that wall. And then I think she's gonna build in a couple of built-in, like book, not, not necessarily bookcases, but um, something on both sides to kind of <clears throat> make that pleasing to the eye on that wall. And this will be our main, main room in here. So we're gonna get that window out <clears throat> and reuse it in the kitchen. There's also another double window like that in the back room, right back there. We're gonna take that one out and move it in there too. So we'll have two nice big windows in the kitchen. Uh, we're gonna be replacing with a door back there. And that is the plan. So we're gonna kind of start the reframing of the exterior right here on this outside wall. So we're gonna start here. That's really the only thing we have to do in here. So we'll just close that up, move into the next room. We're gonna replace that door. So we're gonna take that door out, close that up, reframe this room to have a window, I believe, maybe double windows on that back wall or one window here and one window there. I'm not, I can't remember what Chris wants to do. Um, we'll definitely get the information from her before we get started on framing there. And then going down the back wall, take that window out, which will be reused in here and cut a door in there. And we, we're thinking about moving this door over there, but I think we'll probably get a, a, a new door. All right, so let's get to work on removing this window. All right, so uh, much of the hard work has already been done. Probably need to bring maybe some lights over here at some point. But just real quickly here, we've already got the, the wall and the trim, the wall board and the trim already off. So all that's left to get to the windows really is the um, windowsill and the window, the framing around the window here on the inside. So um, as far as tools on the inside, we just got a pry bar and a hammer. We're gonna see how far that gets us going here. So pay attention. This board obviously down here isn't going to come up until this board's out of the way. So pay attention to how they cut those side boards in. Let's see if we can get it out up here too. One board down. We'll just finish that up. And uh, then we'll uh, start looking at what we need to do on the outside to get to this window and uh, bring it out. Probably just break the bead of caulk that's in there and maybe some nail trim on the outside or screws on the outside, around the outside, uh, around the outside of the window and that window should come out of there. see how hard it is to take the siding off. The siding is put on from the bottom to the top, so it's best to uh, take it off from the top to the bottom. We are going to be replacing all the siding, so it's very important that um, you take it off in a way to, to, to save it if you're going to put it back on. That's not the case for us, but I am. <clears throat> so we're in a bit of luck with the siding. Uh, when Chris pulled off the shutters, the old shutters, one of the sidings popped loose. So that makes it a little bit easier, I think, to uh, get the siding out. 
So it looks like these siding pieces are two pieces in one. So we got one little channel over there before we slide them out. Not as easy as I thought. All right, so we've got the, uh, you see how I pulled the siding away? We got to this nail or this nailer edge, right? So the windows go in from the outside in, flush up to this nailer edge, and then you nail them in. And that's how the window's held in, and then you caulk around it. So we've got our, uh, our nailer edge in there. On this side. On this side, we've got to get down to it, so it's underneath this flap. And you just peel the paper back to get to your actual nails. We're going to make, take all those nails around and then break the caulk seed. That window should come right out, so uh, that's the plan. I'm going to wait till Chris gets here to actually pull the window out because we don't want to break it. to wrap up this project as far as getting the window out once we have it out we'll just reframe this in eventually get some osb and, and some paper to make sure you got a vapor barrier there close it back up and it'll be ready to be resided whenever we do the uh, residing after we get everything else done around the back side of the house all the reframing done uh, we will do the siding well i forgot to turn the camera on when chris got back but we just uh Basically pried the last couple nails out and the window came right out. Really was no caulk around it except for a little bit on the right hand side there. So not a problem to get out at all. All right, so now what we gotta do is close this hole in. So we basically are just gonna find the, there's three studs that go across here. We're just gonna continue those up. So I've sent Chris the measurements, 35 and three quarters each. She's gonna cut three two by fours at 35 and three quarters and uh, put some pocket holes in them so they're easier to, to uh, put in and we'll get those in there. And then uh, we'll have to get a piece of OSB. We don't have a piece of OSB right now. We'll have to go get that. Right now we'll probably just put some leftover uh, scrap glue on on the outside just to close it up until we get that OSB. And once we get the OSB, half inch OSB, I think it's half inch. Yep, half inch OSB. Close that up, put some, uh, either put some paper on it or get the kind that's already got the paper on it and we are good to go. We'll be able to side right over the top of that. So we'll be good. All right, we got our boards cut. In place here. Alright, so temporarily until we get some OSB, well actually even when we get OSB, you'll notice the uh, these old 2x4s that were in this house were truly 2x4s. So nowadays 2x4s are only 3.5, three and, three and three quarters inches. Um, so we've got about a quarter inch, at least a quarter inch gap here between where uh, the, the board ends. So I've made them flush so we can do drywall on this on the side five. We're going to actually put a piece of a quarter inch glue on that we used in my office in here for now. And then when we get the OSB, we can just slap it over the top, get some wrap, wrap around the window, and it'll be ready for uh, basically residing when we're ready to reside. And this will just all be nice siding on the here. So Chris is cutting those glue on pieces for that right now, as well as a couple of strips here 
it was just put so we can nail that luon too we don't need we don't need to put a full two by four there so we're just going to do like a one by one one by two something there just to nail that luon into well we have started on the reframing inside but we've got all of this to reframe and put OSB on because we're gonna be changing stuff back here. So I've already started with this section here. 